Morning at Desmond Hall, and the fears of the previous night seem to have melted away in the morning sunshine. This should be a day of happiness for those who reside in the great house, for a long-awaited marriage is about to take place. But before this day is over, unseen forces will change the destiny of Jean-Paul Desmond. Voices from beyond the grave will call out, and this day of happiness will become a day of ever-mounting terror. Ada? Holly? Oh, how happy you both look, especially you, John Paul. Oh, well, a man should be happy on his wedding day. Then... Yes, we're going to get married after all. Oh, you know I'm happy <laughs> for you both. Thank you, Ada. <sighs> well, Holly, aren't you going to say anything? Congratulations. <laughs> well, we must make arrangements then. Oh, no, no need to make arrangements, Ada. We're leaving Desmond Hall. Leaving? Yes. We're sailing for Portugal tonight. Mm. And we'll be married on board. But after that, we'll have a long, long honeymoon. And we'll spend all our time just being happy. <laughs> How long will you be gone? Perhaps for good. We may never return to Desmond Hall. Never return? I don't believe we can be happy in this house. I believe getting away from here is our only chance to happiness. I told Jean Paul I couldn't marry him unless we went away. That was her terms, and I've agreed to them gladly. Uh, well, I, I will miss both of you, but perhaps it is for the best. I think it is. You won't have a bride at all unless she gets packed. Oh, darling, you must go and pack your bags. As mm, soon as possible. As soon as possible. <laughs> and I'll help you, my dear. Thank you, Ada. Well, Holly, you're very quiet. Weren't you pleased by the news? I saw him last night. Him? Philip. Your brother. I saw his ghost. What? He came to me when I was sleeping. He wakened me in the middle of the night. What did he say? He warned me. About you. Warned you about me? He... Warn me about your marriage. He said it mustn't take place. I can't believe you. He said, if you marry Helena, you will destroy her. Destroy her? You will destroy her, Jean-Paul. And you yourself will be destroyed. Those were his words. Did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? Of course I heard you. You must listen to Philip. He knows what can happen if you marry Helena. Nonsense. It's not nonsense. He has the power to see into the future. My brother is gone. He exists here in this house. He exists only in your imagination, Holly. Do you think I'm not telling the truth? Do you think I'm lying? Well, what do you want me to do? Give up Helena? I love her more than anything else in the world. Jean Paul, I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm just telling you what Philip told me. All right, you've told me. He told me more. I don't want to hear about it. He wouldn't have appeared to me if there wasn't a reason for it. He wants to help you. He wants to prevent something terrible from happening to you and Helena. I won't listen to any more. Jean Paul, please. Holly, I won't let you spoil my wedding. Now, please, will you leave me alone? Jean Paul. Holly, I said leave me alone. All right. Master, you must listen to her and your brother. The spirit of Philip Desmond does exist in this house, and he is trying to help you overcome the forces of evil that also exist here. You must listen to her. I have heard enough, Raxel. I have not listened to Holly, and I shall not listen to you. Now, do I have to ask you to leave this room as well? No. If you command me to be silent, I will be silent. But remember the warning, Master. Remember it.
Well, good morning. I've got to talk to you. Well, Rachel already told me the news. So there's going to be a wedding after all, eh? Yes. Philip, there's something you must do for me. There's something you must loan me. Something you own. I didn't think I had anything worth borrowing. It's a carved animal. A carved animal? A small carved animal made out of wood. Look, you must borrow it to me. I'll return it, I promise. How do you know about the carved animal? I just know. You're a very mysterious girl. I don't mean to be. Now, suppose I have what you want, and suppose I gave it to you. What would you do with it? I won't give it to you until you tell me what you want to do with it. Philip needs it. Philip? Philip Desmond, my illustrious, ghostly namesake. Philip appeared to me last night. He showed me the animal in the vision. He said I must get it and bring it to him. Why? It doesn't matter why. Please let me have it. It's so important. Please. Well, it's against my better judgment, but here. Thank you. Has this something to do with the Desmond curse? I don't know anything about a curse. Well, where are you going now? To Philip. Then I'm going with you. I want to see Philip Desmond with my own no, eyes. No, you can't. Look, if you come, Philip probably won't appear to me. Stay here. I'll, I'll be back in just a little while. hear me. Give me a sign. I hear you. Tell me where you want me to go. I will lead you. Follow my voice. My voice. Follow my voice. My voice. <laughs> Strange how something so beautiful could have been an instrument in death. Put it down, madame. It is cursed. Oh, I don't believe in many of the family legends. You would do well to believe it. Raxel, the rest of the wedding gifts are in the study. Would you pack them, please, for Miss Raleigh? Yes, madam. Oh, my God. 